Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to do a little video today on how I clean, or how I am cleaning rather, this um, this section of the gutters. As you can see, that is very dirty. Now I've just made a start, and there we go. That's the clean bit. So that's the clean bit, and we've just got this section do next now what I'd like to do is show you how I've done that I'm not sure if that'll show up on the camera normally I would put it in the gardener backpack and spray Ubic on it and leave it to set but because I've been doing more pure water cleaning lately, I don't want to rinse all the backpack out. So for today, for this section, <coughs> the front wasn't too bad. Before. I've already done the front. I nearly said we again then. I've already done the front um, and that's come up lovely. So we're going to finish this section off now. What I have got is a normal bucket of water. That water, that is just, um, it's just tap water with a little bit of Ubik in. Um, I'm not quite sure that clumpy thing is there. Oh, it's a little bit of plastic. Um, yeah, that's just Ubik in there in some normal tap water. And to apply it, I am using my over eight with a streamlined brush on, and I'm using that to scrub on and apply it. And then I've just got the uh, the GVS Pro 30. Loving this pole. Uh, that's got the Gardener Seal brush on. Um, I've got four jets on that, two blue fan jets, two red pencil jets. No, scrap that. I've got red, I'm not sure if that's picking it up there. Um, I've got red fan jets and blue pencil jets, sorry. So it's red fan jets, blue pencil jets. And that gives a good blast and rinse at the same time, as you can see. That's cleaned up really nice. So, all I'm doing is dipping the brush into the bucket and scrubbing. So, if I drop you guys on there. Oops. Set you up. It's on there, actually. So, all I'm going to do is... in the bucket and then just apply it and scrub it on taking special care and attention into the side of the clips. Got right up in there. Down the bottom of the fascia board. And then it's just a case of rinsing that off. And just brushing as you rinse.
And that basically is it. So if you haven't got a gardener backpack or any other ways of applying your applying your chemical or ubic, you can see I know I've got to do that end, but you can see it doesn't take that long at all, six minutes. And I was waffling on, wasn't I, for a while, so yeah, it doesn't take long at all and you get really nice results. Just get that to come up on camera. Really nice results. I'll just finish off now down to the rest, down to where I've already cleaned. Just a little double section in there. So that's uh, the easiest way to clean your fascias and soffits. If you haven't got a backpack or a sprayer in, to spray on, like I say, normally um, I would use, before I would have used the backpack, I would have done a mix in the, in the backpack. And then every time I finish with the backpack, I just flush it. Uh, you can rinse it down with pure water if you want. I personally don't think you need to. I wouldn't waste the pure water, to be honest. But yeah, you can see. And that's just the over eight with the streamline brush, which is... I'm not very good at this point, am I? That one. And then the GVS Pro 30 I'm going on with. Uh, which is a nice sturdy pole, so I can give a good, good scrub. I'm still scrubbing as I'm rinsing. But uh, yeah, that's how um, that's how I do it. So um, I'll carry on, get this little bit in the end done, rinse the whole lot down, and then uh, we'll come back and we'll have another look. Catch you in a minute. Okay, it's all done. It doesn't take long as you can see. Um, oh, watch when I'm walking so I don't fall over, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? To turn you around and we are all nice and clean. I'm trying to keep the camera instead of the camera, I'm also trying to look where I'm going. But yeah, that is all nice and clean as you can see. Obviously then we've gone down the drain pipe, so that's all nice and clean. So that's a nice easy way for you to do facial and gutter cleaning with just a bucket of Ubic. And then I like to use two poles because I like to use one to brush and apply it. And then I can use the other brush then to... Um, I can use the my other brush then, which is usually my pure water brush, which is um, which is what I use for pure water cleaning and rinsing down afterwards. Um, yeah, so that's that's why I like to use two brushes. Sometimes I do use that overripe pole with the brush that one. Sometimes I will put the DA components spray nozzle on the end of that streamline brush. Um, and I'll spray it on but these were quite bad so I wanted to give them a good scrub because there's although this is quite a tatty looking brush now um, there's quite a bit of uh, you, you get really good with um, as you can see it's it's getting a bit battered but yeah it's got good boar, boar's hair brush in them a um, little tip for you with those brushes Ziggy from Streamline told me as did Chris from Estuary Cleaning if you get one of them metal flea combs, what you have for dogs and cats, uh, that will that will brush the boar's hair and, and, and pull them back out level again, straight, so you can start scrubbing again. So uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, everyone. That is a video on another way, another technique of uh, cleaning fascias and soffits and guttering. If you haven't got means of spraying, you can just put it in a in a in a in a bucket 
um, with Ubik. If it was really, I mean, that was that was bad, but oh, I've cleaned worse. If they're really bad, then sometimes I like to just uh, put some hot water in and um, the hot water will really shift it as well. So, ooh, out into the sun. So yeah, we've done the front of the house. We've done, I'm not even sure if you guys can see that. We've done all the bottom and we've done all the top. Let's turn you around. Yeah, all the top's done, all the bottom. We've cleaned those red tiles as well, which are cleaning up nicely. Um, so that's that, that, that should uh, clean up real good. We'll let them get, uh, um, yeah, so that's pretty much me done. And like I say, just another technique of how to clean fascias and soffits. And, um, and it doesn't take that long at all. Um, so I'm uh, pleased with that and thanks for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one